Hello, beautiful water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all my favorites, my fish, my crab, my scorpion. I'm super, super psyched about this. I don't have a song to start the reading right now, but we're just going to jump right into it. Star Man Tarot. The three cards that popped out for you were the wheel, six of cups, and the ace of cups. Holla! And this cups energy is 100% you. It's on your path. It's you. It's your energy. It's flowing. It's abundant. It's everything all glittery gold and shiny in your life. And this wheel, that's the wheel of fortune. I can't remember if you had the wheel of fortune last time and if I was going wheel of fortune. But if it was, then I'm super, super excited to say that... <sighs> That wheel is still spinning in your favor, baby. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a wreck. So if you feel like you are stuck somewhere, just let that wheel of fortune be still. Let that wheel of fortune spin you right round, honey. Because we're... <coughs> oh my God. Choking on my spit. Water energy. It's so you. It's on brand. Um... But the Six of Cups is so precious and tender because what it's saying to me is that you had wishes, you had desires as a child, as, as little baby you, before all of the world's expectations got heaped on top of you. And somewhere inside of you, those wishes and those desires and that creativity and that inner child are still there but they've been clouded. It's become pixelated. The pictures become pixelated. Now's the time as this wheel is spinning, whether I'm like, whether you like it or not, I hope you do like it, but whether you like it or not, this wheel is spinning you. And so while this wheel is automatically just going to spin, you don't actually have to be doing anything. You don't have to turn the crank. You don't have to be steering the wheel. You don't have to be guiding it. You just have to be in it. And so take this time to let that, let that picture become clear again to you of what you actually want, what, what your wishes and desires truly are. If you could be anything in the world, what would it be? Boom. That's, that's your answer. That one that just popped in your head, that's your answer. Firefighter, I heard. You're going to fight fires? You can only fight fire with fire. No, that's not true. Um, and your Ace of Cups moment is coming. And the Ace of Cups is also this wish fulfillment. But it's like, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is coming and saying like, hey, I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. Okay. And the Six of Cups is telling you like, if you could be anything, what would you be? If you could have anything, what would it be? It's like, I see a kid in a candy store. And so that's that moment of saying like, Wheel of Fortune is, is got your back. What do you really want? Because whatever intention you set or whatever picture becomes clear for you, that's what's coming. That ace of cups, that rebirth, that wish fulfillment. What was the other thing here? Sorry. There was one other thing I was going to say. Um, it's the land of milk and honey. Arms outstretched. You, your time of, uh, of waiting is over. Now it's just actually like picking the candy that you want, filling your bag in the candy store and allowing yourself to really step into that energy of like, this is really happening because there's a little bit of fear coming through about like, do I deserve this? You do. You do a hundred percent. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Also, while I was um, meditating over the cards and shuffling them, the Oracle of E card automatically came out and it's number 43, woot, woot. I sound like I'm I sound like I'm 90 years old. The kids are saying woot woot, but it's more like woot woot. So <laughs> pull over that ass is too fat. Woot woot. Okay, sorry, I got crass. But it's just like, oh yeah, holla, wheel of fortune's coming in. What do you want? You got it. Okay? You got cheerleaders, you got fins to the left, fins to the right. You got cheerleaders all up and down and they're shaking their pom-poms and they're like, run through the tunnel of fun. Oh. So run, do your victory run, do your victory lap. It's your time. Oh. Oh, I could not make this up. 
Joan of Arc, Warrior of Light. Guess who's leading? Guess who's leading you down that tunnel? It's Joan with her big flag. And she's just like, follow me, I've got the light. And you're like, oh, okay, Joan, I'm coming. Oh. But really, she's here to say like, you don't have to be afraid. You have guardians all around you. You have a guide leading you. All you have to do is just decide. Also, Joan of Arc, it just became clear too. She was a child. She was a child when she followed the call of God and she led the, the French army. She led them. She was a child. So this is also, this to me is like a clap back to the earlier, to the Six of Cups, where it's like, allow yourself to be led by the desires of a child because it doesn't mean that they're childish. It means that that's a pure hearted desire. If Joan can do it, you can do it. Oh my gosh, moving right along. Is it two of these? Is it used twos? Pick one. I'm pick. What? No, I feel like these came out for you together last time too. Okay, we have Mirabai and Sekhmet, the red lady. This is a lot of red energy. These cards have been, if it wasn't for you, it was for another one. But I feel like somebody here might have a rising sign, a moon or a rising sign that was in the other reading you just gonna have to watch all the videos to to follow along with what i'm talking about here but we have this like double red energy and the, this is all strength all fertility new birth new stuff coming into your path no last time i think you had um you had the warrior with her with her ikea colors on and she was holding her sword above her head who's this oh wh i what you guys, I swear I'm not cheating. I swear. Girl Scouts honor. She just came out again. My Bago, the warrior saint. I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. You guys, she's the Ikea lady I was talking about. She's wearing the blue and the gold. She's wearing the gold tunic and the blue scarf. And you've got two coming out saying, Joan of Arc is the warrior of light. This lady is the warrior saint. There's like a lot of warrior energy coming through for you. A lot of warrior energy. And I feel like this is calling you to be a warrior of love. The warrior of love. Um, but this also makes me think of Archangel Michael, who is the Archangel, the warrior Archangel. He's got his sword. He can cut through anything. But the blue is a symbol of Archangel Michael. He vibrates on the same bandwidth as blue light. And blue, just be, just hold on, bear with me, okay? Blue is throat chakra. Use your voice. Come back down to your voice. This keeps coming up a lot too right now, using your voice. Using your voice as your creative tool, speaking truth to your heart's desires, standing in the candy store and having to say out loud, I want this. That's what you're being called to do. You can't just waffle and be like, I'll take whatever comes. You are so worthy of anything your heart desires. You were born worthy. You don't have to prove yourself. You don't have to prove your worth. You don't have to do things to be worthy. You already are. All you have to do is be brave enough to listen to the voice inside your heart, inside your head, and then use your physical voice to speak truth to it. Say it out loud. Dare to say what your heart desires. And that's the thing that holds people back so much. It did for me for years too. It holds us back because we're like, well, what's the use? Uh, it doesn't even matter. I may as well not say it because it's not gonna come true. I don't wanna jinx it. Do you see how silly we're being? <laughs> I was so silly for so many years because I was caught up in fear. I'm not saying you're silly, but I'm just saying like being caught up in fear and it's like you never even dared to try. What's the worst that can happen? If you don't already have wish fulfillment and you make a wish and it still doesn't come true, like you're no worse off. But what if, what if it can actually come true? What if you can actually speak truth to your heart's desire? I'm also hearing like peacock blue. There's something with the peacock. There's a peacock, be proud of yourself, but there's a peacock meaning in Hinduism. And I think it was like, I'm gonna say the wrong thing. 
I'm going to say the wrong thing, but Google peacock Hinduism symbology. There's like a bigger meaning there about like claiming your throne. Oh, that's it. Claiming your throne, stepping into your royal light, claiming your heart's desire. And all you have to do is sit on that throne. Oh, it's so much easier said than done. I know this. I know. But I know that you also have it in you. And this one, this warrior saint, she's coming out a lot for you. And she's just like, you, you just got to say it. You just got to say it. I'm a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. So just by saying it out loud, the, th the things that can help you along that path are going to come to you. You're going to attract it. Regeneration, 46. Oh, I love this. The first thing I'm thinking is um, the floor is lava, right? It's that child game of like the floor is lava. We have to do this, like using your imagination to imagine a whole nother world, regenerating your world completely from scratch, completely from the purest part of your heart. Allow yourself to, to get carried away a little bit in like what you want. This is also the closing out of a cycle. Oh my gosh. No place like home. Also this big blue energy. This like, is the message clear yet? I don't know. I feel like it is. But this five big change energy, no place like home. Like this, you're returning to a place of safety. You're returning to a place that felt like home. Home is where the heart is. Get down to your heart's desire. Do it. I don't know what accent that was, but it came from somewhere. Get back down to your heart's desire. I, I realized that I skipped over Mirabai and Sekhmet, the two red cards, but I, I felt like that wasn't actually, it, they didn't actually have messages for you. Except for that it's red energy that makes me think of like heart and blood and lifeline. But there's a lot of blue energy. There's a lot of new energy here for you. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. Woo, woo. So, Take that seven energy, take that five energy, take that 10 and move. Let that wheel move you. Let that wheel bring you your heart's desire. All you have to do is just say what it is. And if you don't know yet, be still and listen. Listen to your inner voice, listen to your inner child and ask your inner child, what is it that you want? What is it that you need? And then the rest is history, okay? I love you with all my heart water signs. If you haven't already, please go down, click the red button, hit subscribe. It helps me so much. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye water signs.